Hello everyone, my name is Jordan, also known as X-3. Today I'm going to be finalizing this final process of ours to finish up this final song. The first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go into my instruments and I'm probably going to merge all the clips together and then go into the notation themselves. Since this is all C scale, I'm basically going to change the chord stabs from a C to all of my C major parts. So a C, a D, an E, and an F. I have them all um, run out so that way we only need to dive into the notation and how they're laid out. But these are going to be very basic notation. We're not going to get into any large theory such as chromatic scales and diminished fifths and things of that nature. So right now we're only going to be working with four to five different notes today. Maybe even three. Anyways, right now let's dive into it. So, since our first beat in the beginning just gonna take off all these automation lines and expand everything. Do okay. Yep. Like I said, I'm merging all of my clips together. So everything that's a two is gonna be merged to a larger this is so that way when we get into it just looks better in my opinion I want to make sure that 3 doesn't have any like weird nope okay so that's all basically the same thing gonna merge it if you don't know how to merge clips I'm just selecting the first clip and the last clip and holding shift in between and merging them with Command J. I have a PC, it's a uh, Control J. I figured out that Alt and Tab on a PC. I'll merge all these clips real quick. Okay, so yeah, I've learned that on a PC, if you use Alt and Tab, you can switch back and forth between the shortcuts you're currently using. So let's say. It's incredibly handy if you're working with two programs at once, but you can only be on one screen at a time. Like, if you have to constantly go back and forth, like, I'll hit Command and Tab, and you can see that it brings up Audacity. And if I hit Command and Tab, I can switch immediately back into Live. So that's why it's a pretty, pretty cool trick. I just thought it was like a pretty cool trick to learn and figure out, but I didn't know you could do it on a PC. That's incredibly handful, handy. So yeah, I'm just merging all the clips. This is only going to take another minute or so, but yeah, I have a lot of plans. I'm just shooting the shit now, but I have a lot of plans to teach you guys a lot of amazing material coming up. That was kind of weird. Coming up here in the next uh, week or so, I'm going to be really busting out a lot of the different elements that we use. So like it's going to be basically a weekly schedule. Every day is going to be a different video. And along with that video comes a lot of different changes. So let's say I have like a Monday video coming out. Like I'm still gonna be producing these seven day songs, but they're gonna get better and better. The first couple times are really just for getting the process and the information out. I guess that's what happens when you're actually trying to build. Okay, so now that we have all of our clips like basically merged together and it's much more pretty now, Mm. Well, that's actually what I like. So, what I'm going to do now is, since 
our chord stab in our chorus, I'm going to just loop this. I notice that we have a lot of C's, so I'm going to change uh, 2, 4, 6, and 8. I'm going to raise those up 1. So I'm going to take it out of fold. And we'll bring this up instead of D, we're actually C sharp, we're going to take it to D. So for 4, I'm going to take this to F. And for 6, leave it at D. For 8, I'm going to change this to actually F instead of E. I'm sorry if I said something else. But yeah. So now we have this going in with our song. I think I want to play all the parts individually towards the end since we have a lot of things to do. But I noticed for the warm drone, I'm going to go inside of here. And since this is conjointed, I want to merge those two. I want to take off this top notation, this G chord. And what happens is that we don't get an extra loop, we don't get an extra sound when this plays. So I thought that was pretty cool. The sub, we can actually leave that as is. And when we get into our main, that's when all is gonna kick off. So the first couple of things I'm gonna do is go and mess with the notation. And the second part, we're going to be messing with a lot of volumes and mixing. And in the third part, we're gonna do mastering. It's easier if I break these up into sections. So now that we have this uh, different sounding loop, I'm going to basically paste that by holding Alt Option on the Mac and clicking that over. If you don't have Alt Option, you can always do Command C, Command V, Command V. Once you copy some once, you can just constantly paste it over and over again. Great. Anyways, I'm going to take this same concept and apply it over to my chorus. My main, I'm sorry. For the third bar of, I'm sorry, for our third loop for our drums, I noticed that these hi-hats can be kind of annoying. So I'm basically going to take out my fifth, right before the fifth bar, right before here. And I'm also going to take out six, seven, eight, and ten. I'm sorry, 9, but same thing. I'm going to do it for every, every one, every single bar. Okay, so I think that's pretty clean for me. But when, we, when it starts to transition into the regular third, it's going to have a little bit more percussion. You can even color this a different color if it starts to get a little, little bit confusing. That's when you can notice like the different variations of parts. So now that we have that, let's mosey on over to our main. So for the main, I think there's another, yeah, we have Vox 1, which is great. We're going to do the same thing we did in Drone, which is to remove that top G um, character. I'm going to just copy and paste that over to my Vox 1 and our second bar for our main. I'm going to go into our bass tab, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to edit all of, the, all of these notes. So instead of like C, this is going to be C sharp. Oh, I'm sorry, D, and then E. So what I'm doing, show you, is that for every other note, I'm basically going up the scale of the C major scale, but I'm only doing the white notes, I'm not doing any of the uh, semitone notes, uh, the single semitone notes, which are the black keys. Ooh. Got a little bit confused there. Awesome. So I'm going to take that down now, and now we have something like this. This can also be applied over on 
to our main two. But if you want to get a little bit more crazy, and I know um, we're getting out of notation right now, but this is just for this sake. I'm going to go into my devices. I want to take out my random and plop it down before my base. Now the chance, I want to set this at 15% of a random chance. So every time a note hits, it's either going to be neutral, positive, or negative, depending on the, the chance of randomness it hits. I'm going to choose a full 24 different notes, and I'm only going to make this as additive, because if we do any buy or sub, it's going to make the notes sound a little bit darker. And you can have alternative mode, which is every single time it hits this note, it's going to change the note all the other time. So I'm going to take this off and just write a little bit of lane of automation for on for our second main. And that's all I'm going to mess with for now is uh, for the devices. But for the notes, still need to tackle a huge deal. So for the chord stab, I'm going to copy over my notes from my main first. But what I'm going to do is if you have Live 9, this is incredibly useful. But since I use Live 8 and my computer can't handle Live 9, I'm going to reverse this. So I want to take all these notes and reverse them. I'm going to take this up to E, take this to C. D and back down to C. It's a little bit weird to do this manually because the program just flips it correctly. And for the chorus, we're going to make all of these other notes the same note. So instead of C, we're going to make these all D. So instead of doing these one note at a time, highlight them all and just drag them up. So I want to see how this sounds for our main two right now. And we're going to copy the same notation from our warm drone from our first main on over. I think we have some different notes when it comes to... Nope. I think these are the same notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these notes. I'll hold shift, down arrow, and it drops them by 12 semitones, which is a whole octave. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool. For our jive stab, I'm going to take our bass notes that we have and just plop them down onto our jive stab. So now things are looking a little bit better for our main two and the drums. I'm basically going to use a percussion element to kind of boost these. So this perk four kind of sounds more like a kick to me. So I'm going to take my kicks. I want to see if I can I want to delete these first ones. Don't worry, we'll put them back when we need them. But I'm basically going to highlight this first line, notation line, and hold down Alt and just bring it up to four. I'm going to just copy these notes from the second on over. So now we have something like this. It's a little bit more powerful in my in my in in this case so now that we have that and things are looking a little bit better uh, the vox one we're going to take from our chorus one now for the different variation this is going to be a little bit different the variation is going to consist of a different percussion style so instead of this having a constant maintain in the percussion loop and actually we we should have done this in the beginning is that we should have 
copy this on over to the other parts, but I'll do that anyway so that way you guys can get the full experience. That's what I didn't like about um, some other tutorials is that they would do post-production stuff and you would never really see how the track really got formed. It would just be kind of like a make model, but I'm going to show you all the details and all the parts. So I'll uh, right click the decay parameter here and choose show automation and click the little plus here to create a little automation lane create two nodes and I'm going to drag this up so that way it's going to get a little bit better sound so I think I'll take that to about a second and let's see how this sounds and right click on the sustain show not show modulation but I guess that'll work the same way is that we're going to take these two nodes double click in the bottom at the very end of this nope at the very beginning and at the very end to create those two nodes and just click and drag that up As it builds in sound, it builds in character, so that's pretty cool. We're going to copy our third beat over. We'll shrink this and then copy it. There we go. Okay, so for our third beat, I want to take off all the hats. And for every fifth beat, create a double beat. Just shorten these notes, copy them over. Same thing with the claps if you want. I want to take out every other kick, kind of create different pattern. This is kind of my own technical tech drum techniques. It's really good if you want a little bit of randomness, but still keeping the beat just not the same punch. It's very useful. I'm going to change these notes to be double for every couple of parts. So every third, when it gets to four, so at four, eight. Shrink these, paste them over, there we go, 8 and 12, okay. Gonna add a hat. I'm sorry if I'm being a little quiet, but I'm just trying to concentrate. We're gonna use these hats. So. For every half bar, we're going to drop a note of a hat. So it's going to alternate back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So just duplicate this across. And now we have some for a different drum loop. If you want things to be a little bit faster, you can always shrink this and duplicate it. If you're still not satisfied with those notes, you can always do the exact same thing over and over and over again until you get the right notes you're looking for. But I like these half bar notes. Gonna leave them there. I wanna take my chord stab, drop over the notation lane, and drag out that mini note. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off all these extra notes and have a continuous C note. It's going to go all the way to the end of the bar. And we're going to go inside this instrument and use. Um, I wish there was like a pitch control, but I don't see it. So I guess we'll just leave that as a continuous note. So 
Anyways, I think that will do it for the variation. We're going to add some effects and then wrap it up for this part. So I'm going to drop down my impact. Double click inside of here. Raise the volume so that way we don't have to mess it in part two. And what I'm basically doing is that I'm making the right kind of adjustments for each section. I'm reversing parts so that way you'll have a better build instead of reverse. So there we go. I'm going to impact that on top of here. Have this riser be much louder, like really loud. And we're going to drop that on the corresponding parts. And now we should have a better lineup of how our song looks and feels. Gotta make sure we gotta have a riser before this third. Gotta have another riser for this third chorus. And that should do it. So I'll see you guys later in part two for our sound and mixing. So I'll check you guys out later. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And yeah, have a good one. Peace. Hey everyone, my name is Jordan, also known as X-3. I want to say thanks for sticking with me for the first part of the... Well, actually the seventh day of the first part. It's kind of, uh... Kind of different to get into it, but yeah. I just want to say thanks for joining me. You guys are like some of the best people I know. And you guys always lift me up. Even if it's just a single comment that always like raises my i don't know heightened awareness and be like oh i can teach like so much stuff man anyways so yeah i wanted to say thank you guys uh if you hadn't noticed uh i was trying to look for like a pitch bend for that note so if you do happen to find it you can always draw in a node and pitch it up so that way it's uh higher and it'll lead into the uh the main part Anyway, so yeah, take it easy guys, um, I know you guys are working hard, as hard as I am, there's going to be a new change for next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, all days of the week have special names, have uh, special themes going into the videos themselves, and there's going to be one video per week, if not more, um, not per week, but one video per day, so yeah. Just trying to really do more stuff for this channel so that way you guys will have more entertainment so uh yeah i think those are the cookies that are done so i do bake a lot <laughs> maybe i'll show you guys how to make my uh cookies or my famous goldfish it's a white filet fish that turns gold with like uh and it's sweet and spicy so i think i'll show you guys that later maybe some adobe stuff there's just so much i want to teach you guys so yeah have a good one stay safe and peace